Hugs stands for hope, understanding, and grief support. And that's really what we do. We are a peer-to-peer -peer bereavement support program, and we match parents who have lost babies to trained volunteers that have also lost babies. All Hugs volunteers uh, have lost a baby themselves, and so they really understand uh, the complexities of this type of grief and want to best be there to support uh, patients and families as they go through this experience. Six and a half years ago after the loss of my son Zaire, it was very important for me to get into a place where I can support others who are also going through this experience. To know that there are other people who you can connect with who have experienced not the same, however similar circumstances, and that you can see them get through, it automatically creates a space for families to know that they too can get through. My story begins when I lost my son. He was stillborn at 23 weeks. His name is James. We went on to get pregnant again, and again I went into preterm labor. And so my daughter Josie was born at 24 weeks gestation. She was born alive and was sent to the NICU. Uh, on her third day alive, she had a brain hemorrhage, and the prognosis was not good. We started attending a local support group for bereaved parents who had lost babies, and I made some great connections. And that really was my lifeline. I volunteer in memory of my babies. I had an early miscarriage in 2013. And then in 2014, I lost my son, Kenneth. And in 2015, I lost my son, Gabriel, to an incompetent cervix. I really just want to walk with patients and families in grief. It's been very helpful to connect with other people who have walked that same journey with you. When the nurse calls this hugs line, the on-call coordinator will determine who can do that volunteer visit with the patient. Once the volunteer gets to the hospital, the volunteer will check in with the nurse to get some last minute information before going in to see the patient. And we sit with the family and we work with them, also providing them with a token of love for the child that they have lost. It's really patient directed, so we can stay you know, as little as five or 10 minutes, or we can certainly stay longer than an hour. If the patient is interested, we can continue to follow them in the community for up to a year after their loss. We bring gifts for the families. For dads, we give a worry stone anytime that they want to remember their baby or remember that they're a dad, even if their baby's not here. They can put their hand in their pocket and feel that worry stone. For the mothers, we bring a bracelet. The story is that there was a mother that went home and the last, a big connection to the hospital and to her baby was wearing her hospital ID bracelet. And it was very painful when it was time to be removed. We've had nurses tell us when we visit a patient as we walk out of, of the room that all they heard from us was hope. And I think that's more than anything what we can give to patients is seeing somebody walk into the room that has been through this before and has survived.